Mr. President, I have five requests for committees to meet during today's session of the Senate. They have the approval of the majority and the minority leader. Duly noted. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I rise today to ask my colleagues to support this cloture motion this afternoon and move forward in passing the continuing resolution to fund our government through December the 9th. You know, flooding is a national emergency. I've heard many members talk about the flooding in, in Louisiana and, and West Virginia and, and Texas. And it is a devastating, devastating circumstance we find ourselves in the state of West Virginia. 23 West Virginians lost their lives. Amazingly, uh, the last victim was just found uh, probably just a month ago, uh, a 14-year-old girl. 12 counties were declared federal disaster areas, and for some areas of West Virginia, this was a 1,000-year event. It came up so quick. Some of our oldest and our poorest communities suffered serious destruction, and nearly 90 percent of the homes and businesses affected did not have flood insurance. I toured most all of the affected areas and talked to some really brave people and really brave local mayors doing a great job. 5,100 homes and businesses have suffered a loss as verified by FEMA. 75 percent of the affected homes have been deemed unsafe by inspectors. So we've got thousands of people who are not living in a permanent home situation. Some are still living in, in, in um, more temporary situations um, that are unsafe and certainly moving into the fall uh, would be very, very unhealthy. There is significant need for resources to help communities, individuals, and small businesses recover. And disaster-related needs go beyond the reimbursement provided by FEMA. Our governor, West Virginia's Governor Earl Ray Tomlin, wrote to President Obama earlier this month outlining the significant need for disaster aid. The governor's letter identified $310 million in flood-related needs from the Federal Community Block Grant Program. I'm a member of the Senate Appropriations Committee. I really appreciate our chairman, Senator Cochran, coming to the floor today to implore, after all this hard work, this uh, trying to get this continuing resolution confirmed. And I've worked hard to secure these resources in this bill for our West Virginia flood victims. The legislation we will vote on today takes an important step to address flood recovery in disaster-stricken uh, disaster portions of West Virginia, certainly our friends in Louisiana and other parts of the country. I thank my colleagues on the Appropriations Committee. I thank the leader for listening to me, uh, Chairman Cochran and Senator Collins, who chairs the subcommittee, for responding favorably to my request for these desperately needed resources. This bill begins to address this by including funds for the Community Block Grant Disaster Recovery Program. Those funds will help housing, infrastructure needs, and communities impacted by the flooding in West Virginia and all across the country. Given the need in my state and other states like Louisiana and Texas, additional disaster funds beyond these in this bill will be needed. This is an emergency. This means now. Now. These floods occurred several months ago. I could have easily come to the floor today and heralded the record funding that this bill includes for our nation's veterans or the important resources that it provides for our opioid and to help combat our opioid and heroin epidemic, something that's devastating my state and many states across this country. These are needs facing all states and should have been addressed by our regular appropriations bills. No one likes a fact, well, I don't think anyone likes the fact that a continuing resolution is necessary. The Senate Appropriations Committee, of which I'm a member, passed all 12 of the appropriations bills, many of them bipartisan, worked out between the, the um, chair and the ranking member. And, and I wish that the Senate had acted on all of these. We tried for weeks and weeks to get cooperation to move through these bills in a uh, predictable and very uh, responsible manner so that we could have addressed our nation's priorities in a fiscally responsible way. But this bill today keeps our government open and provides the additional resources to help our flood victims who are still suffering so much, helps our, our veterans, 
and it helps to address those who are suffering this new and devastating scourge of opioid and heroin addiction. I ask my colleagues to join me in supporting this legislation. And thank you, and I yield the floor.